love, peace, and harmony. It looks like I am live and I was just chanting love, peace, and harmony. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. This is what's called a Divine Soul Song. And this Divine Soul Song was released by Dr. and Master Shah about 15 years ago. <clears throat> it's called a Divine Soul Song because he received it from the Divine. I find that this Soul Song is very, very beneficial, especially when I find myself in a place where I'm not in, in alignment to where I want to be in terms of my heart connection, my, my soul connection. And the minute I start chanting, I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace and harmony, love, peace and harmony. Something happens when I connect that way. Something happens in a very um, beautiful way. Almost instantly, I find that um, I, I shift from the place that I was in that I'm not really enjoying <clears throat> to a much more enjoyable place in a very short period of time. So I'd like to welcome Pat, welcome Kristen, welcome Yvonne. Thank you all for joining me. You are the core team. You are the champions that are helping support this cause of going out to serve as many as we can and awakening them to the power of soul. So I thank you all for joining me. So the love, soul song of love, peace, and harmony to continue while we're waiting for all of the others to come online and enjoy the live streaming is truly an amazing, amazing song. A lot of people do not truly comprehend the value of this song. One of the great things about it is... Give me just a moment, uh, otherwise this person will call back and interrupt this. Okay, so uh, technology, at least I can type on my computer. Um, I have to figure out how a phone call does not disrupt a live stream. I, that one has evaded me, but I will figure it out. <clears throat> the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony carries divine frequency, love, divine's forgiveness, and the divine's light because it was received by Master Shah directly from the divine. When he received it, he had extremely little English abilities. <clears throat> and a student asked him, uh, Welcome, Gabrielle. Welcome, Katie. A student asked him, Dear Master Shah, can you please ask the Divine for a soul song? Uh, and he said, Sure, why not? And he asked for a song for the mission of bringing um, this great wisdom to humanity. And he received it actually in soul language first. Lula lula li, lula lula la li, lula luli lula, lula luli lula. And so he had to ask the divine, can I please have a translation in my native Mandarin Chinese language, which he received. And then he told his student, pencil and paper, and, and he translated, he wrote down the, the Chinese version first, and then they translated together the English uh, version. All this happened within a matter of moments. <clears throat> so it's truly a divine song because the inspiration came to find the words in this manner. Another variable, Aloha Katie, thank you for joining. Aloha Dove, Aloha Cynthia Marie, thank you so much. Um, so one of the great values of this is that you know, Master Shah is very much like a child when, with his communication with the Divine. He said, thank you for the song, Divine. What are the lyrics? How do I sing it? And so he received the song. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Beautiful, huh? How do you make something like that up in five minutes? Uh, welcome, Sandra. Welcome, Lily. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, Margaret. Thank you for joining. So this song, the source soul song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, is your one-stop solution for any time you are not feeling good, 
anytime a negativity overcomes you, anytime the spouse irritates you, anytime the guy driving next to you in traffic cuts you off, anytime the boss does not respect you or does not give you the value that you're worth, anytime you are kicked out of being in your heart center, chant this song. It will change your life. It will save your life. So now I can begin our show on the power of the Kundalini. I have witnessed it's so much fun to watch all of you populate into the live stream. I have to fill the first five minutes or so as you all come online, but it's just, it's, it makes my heart sing, you know, new person, new person, new person. So I get to acknowledge you all and thank you again for coming. <clears throat> so the reason this week I am choosing the five major energy centers, yesterday we focused on the message center. If you did not get a chance to watch that, please scroll down my Facebook page and watch it. I'm still working on a one-stop location for all my videos. I can go to my Facebook page and find them, and there's even a link. But when I put that into a browser and click on that link, it doesn't appear to show up. I put it at the top of my video here about how you can find all my videos. You guys can try it and let me know if it works for you. But that's they're storing all of them on my About page. If you go to Paul Fletcher About, all of the videos are down below there. Um, under the area called videos. And then I tried to make it simple for people to find in case they miss it, but I'm not confirmed that that's the best way to find them yet. <clears throat> so um, yesterday we did the message center. If you didn't get a chance to watch that, please go back and, and see it. And I did a flow. I asked the divine for a flow on uh, how we can better keep our message center open. And the, the very short version of that answer is that God created us. We are always within the divine's heart. We are never without of the divine's heart. And yet we think we are because we think we, we are separated from the divine. And his message was, bring yourself back into my heart, even if it's in your mind, and reconnect to me in that moment. Uh, chant, chant my name, chant, uh, this is divine talking, chant, you know, divine love, divine light, etc. And, and you could receive tremendous benefits just by doing that, staying in the, in the soul of the Divine's Message Center. So I encourage you to go back and watch that. Today, we're going to be focusing on an energy center known as the Kundalini. Now, when I asked uh, guidance as to which of the five energy centers to focus on next, they're called the five foundational energy centers. And uh, they're called foundational because they're relevant to the entire health of our body. Um, three of them are the main, three of them are main three foundational energy centers. And um, so the next one is the Kundalini. Everybody who's watching, you're probably familiar with the yin yang symbol, right? It looks like a full moon and it has a, a curvature in the middle. And it's two fish that are superimposed upon each other. One is usually black, one is usually white. And there's in the white fish there's the black eye, in the black fish there's the white eye. That yin yang symbol, Master Shah was in a teaching in Boulder, Colorado in 2009. And he was asking the divine some deeper wisdom. And he spoke to everybody. He, he, he shares wisdom right away. I love Master Shah for so many reasons. And one of them is that he shares this deep wisdom right away. In that moment, he said, the divine just told me a deep wisdom about the yin-yang symbol. And he said, the message center is one of the eyes. The kundalini is the other eye of the yin-yang fish. And he went on to explain that in yin there is yang, and in yang, there is yin. So there is never uh, uh, imbalance. There is always balance in all layers. When we focus on opening the message center, when we focus on the kundalini point, these are both connectivity points to heaven and earth. They are extremely important to our health and well-being, but they are also extremely important to our connectivity to heaven and earth. And they are both what's called foundational energy centers. Now, the snow mountain and the kundalini, the golden urn, are all different names for the same energy center. It is also known as the Mingmen area. The Mingmen area. So, Mingmen 
means heaven's gate. And the area is actually quite large. I'm not going to go into too deep of a teaching right now. I'm going to show you this image here. So this image is of the uh, human body. And you can see that Kundalini point is about two-thirds of the way back in the body. You put your finger in your navel, you go back two-thirds of the way, and then you drop down about two and a half inches. And that is approximately the center of the Kundalini Golden Urn Snow Mountain area. Why different names? Different cultures. Same source foundational area. <clears throat> the Mingmen area itself is bigger. Different teaching, different time. So why is the Kundalini so important? Let's ask the Divine, but let's also receive the education that Master Shah has given us on the specific bullet points. Now this is in the Divine Healing Hands book. It's in quite a few books. This is on page 58. The power and significance of the Kundalini are as follows. Kundalini is the Ming Min area, which includes Ming Min fire and Ming Min water. Ming Min fire is the most important yang. Ming Min water is the most important yin in the whole body. Kundalini is the key energy center for nourishing the kidneys. The Kundalini provides energy food for the brain and the third eye. The Kundalini is a key energy center for rejuvenation and longevity. Kundalini is the prenatal energy center. What does prenatal mean? That means the energy you receive before you come into manifestation. The energy that is from your ancestors, prenatal. So Master Shah offers that foundational teaching. I'm going to ask the Divine, I'm going to do a flow now, I'm going to ask the Divine for any additional information on the power and the significance of the Kundalini, especially in its relationship to our health and well-being and its relationship to spiritual channels. <clears throat> so give me just a moment. How? Oh. This is the soul of the Kundalini energy itself. In many cultures, I am depicted as a snake. In some cultures, I am depicted as a golden urn a light being and even in some cultures as a radiant body. There is a great deal of misinterpretation and misunderstanding of how I am to serve. In essence, when fully and correctly activated, I complete half of the circle from the earth up through and to the crown chakra. My path is not necessarily always known or seen. My purpose is exactly as stated to fulfill half of the energy process. The other half is in relationship to the message center. When both of us are fully open, fully activated in a healthy and balanced manner, it is much like a combination lock where the combination has finally been reached and the soul, the shell, cracks open, 
the light from all directions pour in. The purification in that moment can be beyond stunning. You have heard stories of those who open or release their kundalini fire inappropriately in most cases. And some of those have literally found themselves in mental institutions. This is because of the lack of healthy balance, lack of energy center of the heart being opened, lack of a right teacher to slowly, properly invigorate the entirety of the human vehicle. My purpose is hugely important for your return to the heart of the divine. But do not be in such a hurry that you are harmed, as my fire can burn. Take your time to open your message center with the practices given by the one known as Master Shah. Take your time to open my center with the practices received from this same Master. And when done in balance, with no expectations, I will serve you in the highest, best, and most appropriate way. When your channels open more, you will receive huge benefits, not only for the kidneys and brain, back pain could be dramatically diminished, clarity of mind happens for almost all those who fully open my presence. There is also a completion of the energy circuit when both channels are blessed properly. And this completion of the circuit literally can reverse your age, rejuvenate you, and fan lao wan tong, reverse old age to that of a baby. This is just a small portion of the value that can be received by the appropriate boosting of my foundational energy center. I am honored to share this wisdom at this time. You are very blessed. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that was kind of cool, uh, having the soul of that energy come. It wasn't the energy center, it was the soul of the Kundalini foundational energy to offer that wisdom. There's actually quite a bit more that, that was going on there, but I had to kind of uh, pick and choose what could be shared at this time. There's some very, very, very deep esoteric wisdom that was underneath what was shared. Welcome, Donna. Thank you for joining. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Thank you for joining. So, what I'd like to do now is use a blessing from this book. Now, Dr. and Master Shah released to the world uh, about 18 years ago Shah's Golden Healing Ball. And about three years ago, maybe four years ago, uh, it was the 15th anniversary of Shah's Golden Healing Ball. And on December 7th, it was either 2011 or 12, he received a new healing ball that the Divine brought for all souls. This is for everybody. This is not something that you receive as a download. It is something that everyone can access. And its power is extraordinary. It is called the Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. And it resides in heaven and all those layers. And all we need to do is call it to ask it to serve us. When we call it to ask it to serve us, we must tell it what we'd like it to assist us with. And in doing so, we can create huge transformation in our life. So let us do that. We place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <clears throat> and we call forth this most beloved servant. Repeat after me. Dear, sh dear the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball in heaven, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please come at this time? Come to sit 
in my kundalini area. Help me to boost my foundational energy. Clear the Shen Qi and Jing blockages. And bless my soul journey as appropriate. I am very, very grateful. So as a reminder, this is where the kundalini area is. If you put your finger in your belly button, draw a straight line straight to your back, go back two-thirds of the way, and drop down about two and a half inches. That is where the kundalini area is. So you would close your eyes, visualize in that area a golden ball, a two-inch golden ball, and it's spinning and it's gathering. And I will walk you through a visualization as we do this practice. So close your eyes. Here are my treasures for my snow mountain area, my Ming Min acupuncture point. <clears throat> Please turn on as appropriate. Radiate out to everybody watching this, everybody who will watch this in the future doing this practice. If it is appropriate, Please bless their snow mountain area, their kundalini area, to boost the power to this area. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask Divine Down Source, Master Shah, and all of those holy beings at the temple where I'm at now, as appropriate, if you desire to serve all those that are on this line, all those that will watch us later, please go to them, assist them to boost their snow mountain area. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you. Welcome, Alicia. Welcome, Monica. We are doing a practice for the Snow Mountain Kundalini area. Please join. We are just beginning this practice. Close your eyes. Focus on this area two-thirds of the way back, about two and a half inches down. And prepare. Let us chant Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. Visualizing the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball coming from heaven into your snow mountain area, into your kundalini area, spinning. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. 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 Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, 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 ball. Continue to chant by yourself where you are at, silently or out loud, whatever is correct for you. I will start drawing some visualizations for you. So as you are chanting, the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball is spinning and it is literally multi-tiered. It is like a kaleidoscope of light coming out in all directions. A kaleidoscope of light that is shooting purple, orange, red, yellow, green, blue, iridescent colors in every direction. And this light ball is gathering, gathering, gathering anything that is not of the highest purity. It is pulling it into the light ball, all of the clutter, all of the mindsets, all of the old thoughts that are not serving you are getting pulled into the golden rainbow light ball. It is shooting out iridescent light. It is purifying your whole body. Each of the colors creates a healing frequency that is unique to you because you have a unique and special frequency and the rainbow light ball knows exactly what you need. <clears throat> Continue to chant. 
Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Continue to chant. And I want you to notice that this love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball instantly separates to a million love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light balls, each one with all of the colors, each one glowing, and they're running around your body, cleaning, cleaning, purifying, purifying, going up and down your body. A chunk of them go to your message center and clean it out. Some of them go to your brain, cleaning, cleaning. They're running around inside your brain. Just divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Continue to chant and notice where are the majority of the love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light balls at? There's still quite a few at your Kundalini area, but where did the others go? Did they go to your feet? Did they go to your brain? Did they go to your eyes? Did they go to your heart? Where are they at? Give extra, extra, extra boost to that area. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Now I want you to gather them all together, pull them all right back to your kundalini, zoop, all together. Notice how bright the ball is. So glowing. There is no possibility of anything other than this brilliant light in your kundalini area. And now we're going to take a circular trip. It's still floating in your kundalini, but there is a pathway that goes up your spine, over the top of your head, back down to the middle of your body, back down to the torso of your body, and then to the kundalini. Now, you are not going to visualize that. You're just going to focus on your kundalini. But start to notice the energy from the kundalini. Start to roll up the spine. The ball stays in the kundalini. The ball stays in the kundalini. But the light starts to go up the spine. The light starts to go over the top of the head and down to the message center. And it circles in the message center, gathering, gathering, circling, circling, clearing, purifying, clearing, purifying, clearing, purifying. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The rainbow light gathers in the heart center, gathers in the heart center. And after it gets completely full, it continues to go down, gathering down, all the way down to the bottom of the torso, back up to the kundalini. And now you have this light running between the heart center and the kundalini. And the heart center and the kundalini have this brilliant balls, rainbow light. Everywhere else is just 
the beautiful colored light. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light. Ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. And see it now. Very smoothly, the light is completely going through your whole body in this beautiful circle. Going through your whole body in this beautiful circle. Up the spine, down to the center of the body. Up the spine, down through the center of the body. Rainbow light up the spine, down through the center of the body. And then stop and reverse. Bottom of the body, up through the center of the body, over the top of the head, down the spine. Up through the body, top of the head, down the spine. Up through the body, top of the head, down the spine. Divine, love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball. 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 Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. And slowly bring the light all the way back, leaving the message center. All of it's gathering back to the snow mountain kundalini area. It's all returning to the ball rotating in your kundalini area. Feel the heat, feel the light, feel the rainbow light in your kundalini area. As you know that the ball is spinning all by itself in this area, check in with your body. Feel your skin. What's happening with your skin? Feel your energy. Is your crown chakra open, vibrating like there's a fan on top of your head? Are you emotional? Pay attention. Keep your mind on your snow mountain kundalini area. Silently repeat after me, dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you in any way, I sincerely apologize. I love you very much. I am dedicated to be of value to humanity and all souls. And I have learned my lessons. I ask for your forgiveness. I am honored to receive your forgiveness. And if you have harmed me in any way, I release you now unconditionally of any debt you have to me. And I sincerely ask for your forgiveness. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. See the ball spinning. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Expand the ball to your whole abdomen. Divine forgiveness. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. 
divine forgiveness. Let us offer our deepest gratitude to this beautiful soul. Repeat after me. Dear the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball, I am so honored for your incredible service for me today. I apologize for not calling upon you more, for not utilizing your incredible power to help me and others to heal. I apologize for not remembering your service and teaching others how they can call upon you to be of better service, to heal themselves. I will call you more. I am truly grateful for your service with me here today and all the times that you have served me. I respectfully ask you to remain in my lower abdomen, kundalini area, through this practice. And then when I finish, to please return. I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Open your eyes and share. How was that experience for you? What did you feel? What did you see? What were the aha moments that you might have had? Was there any value in the flow that was given by the soul of the Kundalini energy? Please share. <clears throat> in the meantime, I will do a quick flow on the value of this practice. Ha. This is the soul of this specific energy practice for all those that have watched this today. All those who will watch this in the future will have received a similar result. For those that followed this practice, there was tremendous clearing of the Shen, Qi, and Qing blockages, especially those of the Kundalini and Method Center area. There was a line between these two that, when inhibited, keeps the communication between heaven and earth blocked. Why is this relevant? You are a child of heaven and earth. And as the child, you can only receive the messages from heaven and earth when this channel is open. This practice today cleared great blockages between these two centers. It assisted 36% of those that did this practice received an instant energy boost such that they may even have a little difficulty sleeping this evening. Not in a bad way, they would just stay up late with more energy. This is reflective of increase in the circulatory system. There was two that had breathing issues and this has been substantially reduced. There was one on the line that had some relatively serious heart conditions and within the next few days would could have had the possibility of a minor heart uh, arrhythmia type attack. This was cleared. There were a substantial amount of mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs uh, that were lodged in the Kundalini area because of lifetimes of initiates and initiations in this area that had failed. And in those lifetimes, the blame was put on the initiate when in fact it was the teaching that was incorrect. These negative messages have been uh, dramatically softened there is so much more that can be shared, but these are some of the key points from this practice today. The source uh, rainbow light ball of love, peace, and harmony uh, is honored and grateful to have been called. It actually, it, it was bowing down to all of us, so I'm going to bow my head to this incredible soul. The fact that it, just, that it bowed down to us is, is just truly amazing, just goes to show you its hum humility and humbleness. So we thank the, the beautiful soul of this golden 
uh, excuse me, Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball. <clears throat> so let's take a look at some of the shares. Yvonne, I feel so comfortable of my whole body. Thank you, the soul of the Kundalini, for your service to remove my blockages. Um, Monica says, Master Paul, this was so powerful. We really, truly appreciate you. Dog on in. Thank you for your sharing. Hopefully we'll have a few more shares that will show up. They're probably still writing. <clears throat> One thing I wanted to make sure that everyone's aware of is that <clears throat> either through me or through any of the other worldwide representatives, uh, there is the ability to receive um, these five major foundational energy centers. I'll be talking about the other three for the remainder of these days. And they come in packages. There's the Kundalini and Third Eye. Um, and then there is the uh, Lower Don Tian Message Center and uh, Zhu Chao. And so the Lower Don Tian is the second soul house, second energy center. The message center we worked on yesterday is your heart center. And the Zhu Chao is related to intelligence. And it's an energy center here. And then the third eye and the kundalini are connected as a, as a um, package. And what I mean by package is, um, in the past when Master Shaw offered blessings, it was for the soul of the area. The energy in the matter, however, uh, was not changed. So if someone received a liver soul, uh, let's say they had liver cancer, and it came back, one of the reasons why is because the energy in the matter all have souls, and those souls were not changed. These new packages that we're being uh, authorized to use <coughs> have the energy and matter, as well as the soul of the message center, as well as the soul of the third eye. And all of the energy, all of the matter, the soul itself, um, has karma on it. If it didn't, we, wouldn't, we would have a, a far greater uh, connection to heaven and earth than we currently do. And so, the healing and transmission systems that all the masters can offer, um, when they give a divine order, it clears the Shen Qi Jin karmic blockages, if you will, the, the, the spiritual debt that lies at the energy and matter level. A lot of that is mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. Uh, those are our negative blockages. We have uh, heart blockages. We have all kinds of blockages that lie on the energy and matter level. And so when those are removed, there's instantly a lightness. But there's a reason those blockages were there, and it is karmic. <clears throat> so what that means is that we had brought harm or suffering to others that had caused those energy centers to close down. And so when these blockages are removed through a divine order, then a second divine order is given for a light wall protection, which is basically heavens, generals, and soldiers, they're ordered to come and surround the area so that that darkness cannot return. And what that does is it allows you to sustain the growth. It allows you to sustain that openness of that center or sustain the foundational energy that you work hard to create when you do the practices. It allows you to sustain the consistency of the flow of energy from center to center to center, etc. So, uh, and then of course the final order is to uh, connect them all as one. So these are available now through any of the divine channels where you're at locally. I'm happy to serve you uh, uh, as well if you don't have that available to you. But check with us and we'll be happy to share with you the honor piece on theirs. They're quite reasonable. They're actually substantially more uh, reasonable, financially speaking, than they were in the past. And in the past they were given one at a time. Now they've packaged them. So truly a, a good opportunity with the changes that have been made with them. Um, and then I also want to let you know, while you're uh, uh, listening, this weekend in Honolulu, there is an uh, Open Spiritual Channels event. So um, make sure you go to Dr. Shaw event, look up Honolulu, and see what we have to offer this weekend. Okay, let's read some of these. Um, uh, okay, Yvonne. <coughs> uh, thank you, the soul of Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball, dog on in. Glad I am here to remove my blockages. Me too. I am, my whole... My whole uh, uh, Kundalini area is just on fire. <sighs> you know, lots of fire back there. And Donna says, this is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Donna. Love this. I got in late, but I'm very grateful to be here now. Thank you. Welcome to see you, love this. Uh, Dove, thank you, thank you, thank you. I felt so much heat in my kidneys and Kundalini. I could see my energy and matter channels flowing. I felt more energy as well. Thank you for this life-saving blessing. I wish to remind you, this was a really powerful practice. This is recorded. Go back specifically to this practice. Do this again and again. You could have huge results. Um, 
Yvonne says, I'm folding lotus flowers while watching live stream. I plan to make 30 packages, 180 lotus flowers a month. Wow, that's huge. That's a huge service. Great. <clears throat> uh, welcome, Esther. No worries. Happy to see you. Happy to see uh, Lily come in today. I know, um, I know that uh, Amada Leon cannot make it today, but that's okay. She'll watch it on the, on the recording. So thank you all for sharing. This was... Uh, a huge blessing that we received today and is actually quite a bit going on within the blessing. One of the unique things about the Love, Peace, Harmony Rainbow Light Ball is that it carries the frequency of love, peace, and harmony. And as Master Shah has um, increased the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, Harmony's frequency, and as Master Shah's frequency has increased, then accordingly, all those that are connected increase as well. You may have heard how some of his masters get knocked out when, when Master Shah goes through a frequency increase. I'm going to teach you a very deep esoteric wisdom right now. And if you can grasp it, you're going to have a huge aha moment. Creator is, is bigger than my hands, but I'm trying to keep it within this video. So imagine original creator is as big as it can become. This soul that we know as Master Shah comes to earth to serve at this time and he starts out as a human soul that eventually starts opening its energy and matter channels by doing the practices that we're doing now and as its channels open as it becomes uh, as this master and his channel becomes more and more open what is he opening to? He's opening to the original creator soul and Master Shah's channel is slowly becoming, as quickly as possible, the uh, frequency and allowing the frequency of the original creator soul to come through. This is why miracles occur every day. All of his worldwide representatives, all of his healers that have divine healing hands, first level soul healer, second level soul healer, any form of healing, any form of um, a transmission you have received comes through that channel that Master Shah is still making wider and wider in every moment. Every moment he's making it wider. Why do you think at any retreat he, he you know, he, he's just exhausted. He pushes himself so there's no time because as he brings in a higher frequency, his physical body has to adjust to that higher frequency. We are blessed to be in that channel. This is the wisdom. We are inside that channel. So when we do practices with our treasures, when we serve with our divine healing hands, when we chant love, peace, and harmony, or call forth the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball, what are we doing? We're widening our channel that is already inside of Master Shah's channel, which is already inside of the Creator's channel. So the more we open our channel, the greater our healing ability, the greater our possibility of physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual healing, the greater the possibility of service to others. So it is a huge thing to open your spiritual channels because they are the, the, uh, the method by which the divine communicates to us and through us. Because right now, almost everything I'm saying is out of flow. I just get an idea and then just start talking. And so that would not be the case if I did not take the time to receive the transmissions to open the spiritual channels. When and how you do it's completely up to you. But know that these tools are there. There are monks in the mountains that sit eight hours a day chanting, chanting, chanting. Their spiritual channels are not open. Master Francisco went to India with Master Shah and they went to some of the top monks in all of India. You know, Master Francisco's third eye is wide open and he's looking at these top monks that have been training for 30, 40, 50 years. Their uh, enlightenment level below their heart center, <clears throat> their amount of opening, their, their opening of their channels, minimal at best. Why did, did Master Francisco at that time being with Master Shah maybe six years, why was after six years of practice, all of his channels so wide open because of who Master Shah is and because of the transmissions that Master Shah gives to individuals, the same transmissions he gives to the masters that can be transmitted to individuals. Those transmissions 
blow out the blockages, lifetimes of blockages that keep us from having that direct communication with the divine. So I encourage you to learn more. Keep coming back the remainder of this week because tomorrow I'll be talking about the uh, Lower Don Tian. This is the third of the major foundational energy centers. <clears throat> and when we focus on 15 or so minutes a day of doing the message center practice, you can use Shah's Golden Healing Light Ball or any number of practices. You can use the Rainbow Love Peace Harmony uh, Light Ball for your Kundalini. And tomorrow we're going to work on the lower uh, foundational energy center known as the Second Soul House or Lower Don Tian. And then the final two days, I will work on um, Zhu Chao and Third Eye. I'll probably save Third Eye for, maybe I'll do Third Eye on Thursday because Friday not as many people come in. They're too busy out at the bar drinking or whatever they're doing. <coughs> so um, we'll do Third Eye on Thursday. Uh, give me a second. So all of you who have wanted to go to the Guanyin retreat and found that it was sold out, do everyone a favor. Call customer service. Ask to have your name put on the list in case there's a cancellation. Now, you may or may not get in. If you are, you're exceedingly blessed. But the more names on the list, the higher the possibility that he may open it to webcast, that he may open it to webcast. I did not say anything other than that. So if there's enough names on the list, maybe we get lucky and he opens it to webcast. So I encourage all of you to do that. And if you know other people that follow Master Shah and this wisdom teachings, encourage them to do the same. Okay. So. I'm going to wrap this up. I'll read Kristen. Uh, thank you, Master Paul, for this powerful practice and blessing. Thank you, Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball. I felt my crown chakra vibrating and a boost in my energy. Wasn't feeling 100% physically today. <clears throat> uh, this brought everything back into balance. Yeah, I have to agree. I was just a little bit fuzzy before I started and not so much now. So thank you, Dove, for your comments as well. So uh, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate your service very much. I appreciate your shares of this very much. If you're not already uh, following me, then after the end of this, click the, uh, the follow button, uh, which only shows up apparently when I'm live. And then uh, anytime I go live, you'll be made aware of it. And if possible, you can join me at that point in time. Please tell other people about me. My intention is to continue to come back Monday through Friday, uh, same time, and continue to serve you in whatever way Divine guides me to. I know you really appreciate the soul readings, and, and those I will definitely continue to do those, but uh, each day I, I need to follow the Divine's guidance, so this is what we're doing this week. <clears throat> I'm happy to serve you. If you have any questions, you know how to find me, just message me. Um, I love you guys. Until tomorrow, same time, 2 o'clock Pacific, uh, 2 o'clock Hawaii time, 5 o'clock Eastern time, 8 o'clock. Uh, Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Australian Time. I know I said it wrong, but you know what I mean. Join me. We'll see you then. Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye.